The Legend of Monkey Island has finally arrived in Sea of Thieves, and today I'm going to be showing you how to complete the first instalment of the three tall tales as fast as possible. So strap in and get ready. If you like this content, please consider subscribing. To start the journey to Monkey Island Tall Tale, you must head over to the newly built campsite next to the Pirate's Life Tall Tale tent. On the table to the right of Captain Capsize, you will see the Tall Tale book you need to vote on. Once you have voted on this book and sat through five minutes of annoying dialogue, you will need to head over to the portal where you will be sent to Melee Island. Before I get into exactly what you need to do, it's important to know that these steps do not need to be completed in an exact order, though some tasks must be completed first in order to unlock the next phase of the tall tale, so I recommend following along relatively close to what I show. Also, as you run around the island you will find pouches and loose coins which are vital to the completion of the tall tale. Make sure to search everywhere and pick up every coin you find. Now once you arrive at Melee Island, you want to head over to the dock on your right, opposite the scum bar. There is a poster here which you can examine for an extra commendation, but the main thing we are here for is up the ladder and on our left. We're going to angle this winch above this crate in the water which has sunk, and once that is done you want to drop down below you and lower the winch onto the box. Jump into the water and cut the ropes, and then raise it out of the water and onto the dock. Then after this you want to run all the way to the top of the island where the lookout is. This is because we require the coins kept up here. Now in order to steal them, we must distract the lookout by telling them there is a ship coming. Then once he is turned away, steal the pouch of coins. After that you have to head into town and run to the very end near the mansion. On the right hand side is the jail and just inside is a claw hammer on the table which is required to open the crate. Inside is a merchant crate which you need to hand over to this NPC, and after doing so, you will receive the meet and greet ticket to speak to Guybrush. You have now completed step 1 of the tall tale, and you must move on to acquire the chef's uniform, which requires 45 pieces of 8 coins to purchase. Head on over to the general store and purchase the chef's uniform, equip it in the clothing chest, and then run on over to the scum bar and go into the kitchen. Cook the meat stew following the recipe book, which basically requires you to put everything you can pick up in the room into a pot, and fish for one red herring. And once this is done, just leave the stew where it is, as we don't need it just yet. Instead what you need to do is take the grog from the barrel, and spike these three pirates in the bar three times. This is so they can fall asleep, and you can steal their coins and gain access to the clock tower. Once you've collected the key, you need to run into town, and just under the clock tower is a door on the right hand side. Use the key to gain access to the top of the tower, and remove the skeleton hand from jamming the clock. Then rotate the wheel and the clock's hands to reset them to 12 o'clock. After this, you want to take the skeleton arm next to you, and place it in the alleyway just behind the general store, as we will need it later. Next you want to run back to the scum bar, and on the way, purchase the three-headed monkey toy from the NPC you handed the merchant crate to. Take the toy with you to the bar, and at the back left is a dog holding a bone. Swap the bone for the toy, and bring the bone over to where you just placed the arm in the alleyway. Now you need to run all the way back to the bar, and pick up the meat stew. Bring this over to the bones you placed on the floor, and just in front of you will be some dogs with a food bowl. Place the food in the food bowl, and then once the dogs defeat the skeleton, place the bones into the body. Now take the red gunpowder gummies and the coins next to you, and head back over to the jail. Place the gummies in the jail cell locks, then purchase the gunpowder fuses from the general store, and connect them to the gummies, igniting them with your lantern. Once the doors open, head into the cell on your right, and pick up the skeleton arm, then carry this back over to the corpse and attach it to the body. Then head back over to the jail, and in the cell on the left will be Captain Coco's head. Carry this with you all the way back to the scum bar once again, and swap out Captain Coco's head for Murray at the back of the bar above the fireplace. This is going to be used as the head for the skeleton and is the final step to gain access to the mansion. After you attach all the bones to the corpse, Murray will gain you access to the mansion. And the rest is very simple. Walk up to the mansion and open the door. Head up the stairs and repeatedly knock on the door until it breaks open. Now sit here for about 10 minutes listening to Guybrush ramble on and on about his stories, but when he is finished, open the door on your left, then open the curtains, and then remove the bedsheet. This will reveal a note and key to the chest at the end of his bed. Open the chest and take out a rum bottle. Now Lechuck will spawn and you must go outside of the mansion and speak to him. 
He will also ramble on about some nonsense to do with the Burning Blade, Rolling Sea of Thieves and whatnot, but when he is finished you just need to head back into the town and defeat the waves of ghost skeletons. Using the Bottle of Rum to defeat them will unlock you an achievement, however it needs to be shaken with your alternate fire keybind before being used, so on PC that's right click. Once all of the waves are defeated, a door will open in the town which was guarded by a ghost skeleton before. You must head inside and place the Bottle of Rum in the altar, and now you are done with the tool tale. You are given the option to explore and complete more commendations, or you can just speak to Corinna again and finish the tool tale. I hope this guide has proven useful for you, and if it has, I would really appreciate a like and please consider subscribing as it means the world to me. Let me know what you think about this Monkey Island collaboration in the comments below. Much love everybody, I'll see you next time.